I'm coming at you today with Easy Natural Makeup Over 50. I prefer a natural look. So if I have a choice on going a more natural, light makeup application, I'll take it. Today I've got an Easy Natural Makeup Look Over 50. Hi, I'm Maggie D. My channel is about makeup over 50. Let's jump in. I started out with a little bit of color corrector. I would love to say at my age, I can just throw on some tin and moisturizer and easy breezy, but I just don't like the way it looks. I always need just a little bit of yellow right in here to cover. I Sometimes I use the peach to cover the purple, but I have purple dark spots and I just like to cover them. So full disclosure, I cover up a little bit underneath. Today I've got the Dream BB Fresh going. It remains one of my favorites. I put it up against this Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer, Maybelline against Maybelline. I like this much better. It always hides my texture and covers nicely. It's easy and I put it on with my fingers. So I like the way it looks. I feel like it's natural. I'm in the color 110, which is fair. Now the colors on these are really, really forgiving. This BB cream has been around a while and it'd be so exciting to talk to you about a new product for my complexion, but I'm gonna be transparent and authentic and say this remains one of my favorites. It is on my Holy Grail list for foundation. I say foundation loosely because it is a BB cream, so you don't get a lot of coverage with this. Let's move on to something fun. This little tart cheek stain, I have been loving this all summer. I will say if you're looking for something easy, this is it. It's very forgiving, very sheer. It's called cheek stain, not blush, and it's infused with water, so it feels like a gel to me. I'm gonna put some on. I just use my fingers. So easy, so natural, so sheer. I also put it a little bit right here and right here. This is a limited edition. I don't know how long Tarte is gonna offer it. I suspect probably through the summer and then it may go on sale in the fall or at Christmas or something. I, I don't know, but um, limited edition kind of means you need to go ahead and get it if you're interested in it. It's buildable, pretty much a no-brainer. I'm gonna put a second coat on and you can see I'm still not getting so much that it's overpowering. Very, I guess I would say the word subtle perhaps. Very easy to put on, simple, looks great, foolproof, <laughs> perfect for dummies <laughs> like me. <laughs> For my lips, I have Maybelline's new green um, lip balm. Let me see, the official name is Green Edition Balmy Lip Blush. And I have the color Dusk 006. I'm liking this. I think it's very natural. It's super easy. I don't have to, when I say easy, to me that means I can put it on while driving and not have to look in the mirror. Super, 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 super easy. So Maybelline markets the green edition as a high percentage of natural origin ingredients. The Balmy Lip Blush has 93% natural origin ingredients. So that is not necessarily important to me, but it might be important to you. It's described as a hydrating formula with mango oil. I haven't used mango oil on my lips before, so far, I like it. Now, it does not have a enjoyable taste and it does not have a bad taste, but it's not completely neutral. There is just a little something there, probably because if you want your lip product to taste good, I'm guessing you have to add more artifi artificial ingredients to mask just the natural way that um, balms are gonna taste. I don't know, I'm not a chemist. For my eyes, I've gone about as simple as you can get. I've got this MAC 9x9 eyeshadow palette. I've had this about six months. It's called Amber Times, and I do like it quite a bit. I just took my finger and got the cool taupe that's up here in the corner and put it on my mobile lid and just a little bit up into my crease. This is one of those little palettes that actually um, leans towards um, having mattes in our favor. There are five mattes in here and only four shimmers. 
So I like that because I have a little more choice if I want to keep it very easy and natural with just mattes and no shimmer, which is what I did today. Next up, what continues to be one of my favorite mascaras, it is Merit. I've been wearing this longer than I probably should. I've had it probably five months and I'm still wearing it, so it's time for me to get a new one. It's still working great and it's not dried out the way most of my drugstore mascaras would be dry out, dried out by now and I'd have to throw them away due to the fact I live in a dry climate. But I have sensitive eyes, so I try to replace my mascara often. So I need to get me a new one of these. As you can see, my lashes are not exaggerated that much. They're, you know, I can feel like I have mascara and my upper lashes are accentuated and lengthened just a bit, but they're not like huge, which is um, kind of the natural look I prefer. So to finish up, I needed a little bronzer. It is summertime and I felt like I looked a little pale. So I grabbed my favorite Milani Silky Matte Bronzer in 01 Sunlight. I have tried a lot of different bronzers and there are a lot of uh, nice ones. This one is pretty goof proof for my skin tone. It's easy. I don't feel like you can just really can't even hardly tell it's on, which is sort of what I want in a bronzer. I want it to look very natural. So I just simply, put, you know, apply a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my jowls. I don't try to put it on the hollows of my cheek much. I've gotten to the point where my cheeks are kind of hollow naturally. So I kind of put it just a, just a touch and then I blend, blend, blend. I almost like blend it away. I'm like very close to just blending it so you can't even see it. So the secret is to stop right before it disappears all the way. I hope you have enjoyed my little Easy Natural Makeup Over 50 tutorial. It's been fun hanging out with you. I have a few other videos for um, natural, simple makeup, and then I'll put them on the screen if you want to watch another look with some more products. I'm always on the hunt for things that might be like a little bit under the radar that are not too frosty and glam and dramatic. Thanks again for watching. I'm Maggie D. I hope you have a great day or a great evening. I appreciate each and every one of you. And thank you for your time for watching my video. Bye-bye.